question is why? Why does it frighten people? What is going on inside of us? And um, I, I really think so much of this is a factor of the time in which we live as you know, evangelical Christians, for example, and, and the fundamentalist Christianity as well, that has had now 100 to 150 years of conflicts and battles behind us. And we've been taught that the only way to protect the Bible is through a literalistic understanding. Um, I think one way to get over the fear, which takes time, it's not gonna happen like this, and it has to be done, I think, carefully, actually. But a way to get beyond the fear is to help people become more self-conscious, in a good sense of the word, more self-critical about just assumptions we carry into this. You know, it, but it is, it is certainly, I think fear is the number one issue. I rarely see theological debates. I see fearful arguments where how we look at the world is threatened. It's not just a biblical passage, it's what we think of God and what we think of all these other things. Um, a central component that I try to keep before people is the, the centrality of who Jesus is and what he did for understanding of the gospel and really of the Bible as a whole. I think that's, that's our epicenter, that's our beginning point as Christians, and we work out from that.